If we know who we were as that little Manx nation, the better we are then to understand who we are now as that little Manx nation, and also who we will be and can be in the future. And I think that can only come from us looking back and looking at the Manx the nation that we used to be. Now many people might think that's the closing mark, that's the takeaway message, but I actually want to add another little message to that, and this is perhaps, I would think to myself this is a particular note of caution, and I want to read this in a, in a bit, lot bit, uh, read this, read this much, much more fuller. This is Edward Farragher recalling Margaret's cottage at Craig Niche. Margaret got the cottage from her mother, old Nelly, who Edward Farragher described as a tyrant. <laughs> and apparently when old Nelly passed off, and off this mortal coil, it was taken, taken over by Margaret, and it sort of became sort of like Party Central, Party HQ and Craig Niche, judging from Farragher's description, and I'll read it to you now. She lived in the house alone, and it was a great haunt for the young men. She used to learn us to sing and dance. It was a meeting house for both sexes for many years. When she died, the house went to ruin. The little garden in front has disappeared, and Margaret's old haggard is trodden like the highway. Farragut now lies, as you know, in an unmarked grave in England. And point he writes these particular words, which are taken, I take these as metaphorical, not literal. And he himself lies in an unmarked grave in England. You know, his great friend, Rhoda, towards the end of his day, lived in close poverty. He actually have, had to have a subscription list raised to actually buy him his medicine in his last, in his, in his last life. You know, it's actually terrible. But I think my takeaway message for tonight, if there is a takeaway message tonight, is that if Margaret's old haggard, in other words, what makes us Manx, is not to be trodden like the highway now or in the future, I think let us ever and again ask now the days that are past and listen to those Manx voices to remind us of where we came from. And we are small in number, we will always be small in number. But I think we need to stop being just the shy in the words of T. E. Brown and speak that much louder about who we are and what we are as that little Manx nation. <laughs>